So if you're a fan of Vox guitar amps, but you're on a bit of a tight budget and you can't stretch to the cost of a real AC30, this is a pedal that you're gonna love. In this video, we're gonna be checking out this really cool new pedal from the guys at New X. This is the 63 Diamond. So the 63 Diamond is from the New X reissue series. This series of pedals takes the sound of some classic guitar amplifiers and puts them into an overdrive pedal. So what this isn't is like a Vox in a box kind of thing. This is not the sort of pedal that you're gonna to use to go to front of house and emulate a Vox AC30 because it doesn't have speaker emulation, it doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. What this is is an overdrive pedal that captures the sound and the vibe of a cranked Vox amp. So you put this into the front of your existing clean amp or even an overdriven amp. And what this will do is it'll give you a little bit of that Vox-like character. So in this video, we're gonna check out some of the cool sounds we can get from this pedal. So before we do that, I wanna let you guys know this is not a sponsored video today. The guys at NewX are not paying me to make this video, but they have provided me with the 63 Diamond for the purpose of making the video today. But as always, all the thoughts and opinions you're gonna hear in the video are my own. Now, one thing that's really cool about this is the price that this is going to hit at. This is currently listed over on the Anderton's website for pre-order, and it's listed for £45, which is incredibly cheap. So this is the sort of thing that, you know, if you need a Vox kind of sound, even if you only need it for like one song and a gig, it kind of makes sense to pick one of these up because it will just give you that Voxy vibe, but you don't need to go out and spend all your money on a Vox AC30 that you're only going to use for three minutes of a gig. You can kind of get that from this pedal. So it's a really cool way to get that Vox sound without breaking the bank. Now, when it comes to pedals in that price range, the instant thought that many guitar players, myself included, often have is that there must be a compromise with quality. Now, one thing that New X have done incredibly well, and I've done a lot of videos for New X products, is that in recent years, their quality has gone way up. So even though they're still hitting these kind of entry-level prices for the products, the actual quality is up there with anything else you can buy from a store for two or three times the money. So it's got good switch, the in and out jacks feel pretty good, the pots feel pretty good. There's nothing about this that has that kind of cheap feel. It just feels like any other off-the-shelf pedal from any other brand. And I think that's really important because even though you're buying this for cheap, it can still be something you actually use and take out and gig. I don't know the long-term 
durability of something like this because I've never toured with a pedal like this. So obviously if you're doing 200 shows a year and you're stamping on this thing night after night, maybe then you would experience some kind of issues. But obviously I, I'm just speculating there because I've never done 200 shows in one year with one of these pedals. Now, let's take a look at the pedal. So obviously you can see they've gone for the classic Vox visuals here. We've got the sort of diamond grill cloth and that sort of red maroon kind of panel. So obviously what we're going for here is like an AC30 sort of vibe. Now, it's a really simple pedal in terms of what you've actually got on there. We've got the volume control here. Now, even though this is labeled volume, this is actually the gain control. So with an AC30, typically you crank them to get the gain. So this is like our channel volume, as it were, like our preamp. So the higher we push this, the more gain we get. This is the master volume, so this is our output volume. And this pedal has quite a lot of volume, so when you're turning this thing up, it does get pretty loud. And then we have the cut control. When that is set to zero, like this, it's actually completely unfiltering the EQ range. So it's actually doing nothing at all. We get the full spectrum of sound through. And as you increase this control, it's basically rolling off the higher frequencies. So we're just darkening up the amp a little bit, kind of taking some of that very harsh top end away. Vox AC30s are known to be pretty punchy in the top end, especially when you crank them. And that cut control allows you to tame that a little bit. But also like all classic Voxes, we've got the top boost switch. When this is off, obviously it just sounds like the amp. And then when you turn that on, it's the classic Vox with a top boost. Gives you a little bit more of that kind of treble booster poke from the amp as well. Really simple layout, really easy to dial in sounds. We've got the side mounted jacks and it runs off a standard nine volt DC adapter. With it being an overdrive pedal, it's very low current draw. It doesn't say exactly what the current draw is on here but most overdrive pedals typically don't take more than 100 milliamps, so you won't have any issues putting this through any of your power supplies either. So that pretty much covers it. So I'm gonna plug it in now so we can hear some sounds. So gear-wise, in this video, I'm using my Shergold Telstar today. This is plugged into the Blackstar Studio 10 6L6, which is running completely clean. That's going via the Two Notes Torpedo Captor X. I've got the 63 Diamond running in front of the amp, and there's a little bit of reverb on the amp as well. Now, the clean tone I'm using is this. And what we're gonna do with that clean tone, which is a very distinctive American slightly scooped clean, is we're gonna use the 63 Diamond to give it a bit of a Voxy characteristic. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play a little bit and just tweak the pedal on the fly, just moving things, just so you can get a bit of a feel for what this thing can do. I'm gonna start with everything in the midnight position like this. And when the top boost switch is down like it currently is here, it's off. And when it's in the up position like that, it's on. So I'm just gonna apply it and move some of the controls. And then later on in the video, we'll go actually go through each control and hear the full range of what it can do.
there's actually quite a wide range of sounds there, just with a few simple control twists. It does have surprisingly a lot of gain on tap, considering it's a Vox-style pedal, and that cut control actually works quite aggressively, because you can actually get quite woolly if you actually wind it all the way up. <laughs> So yeah, there's definitely some interesting sounds in there. Now, what I'm going to do now is talk about the range of some of the controls. So I'm going to just dial in a kind of moderate crunch sound, kind of that sort of thing. And then we're going to first start with the cut control so you can see the full range of what this control does. So when the control is in this position, it's basically letting everything through. So what we're going to hear now is a very bright sound. And then as I increase that control, we're going to get some roll off on the top end. So quite an aggressive roll off. Now, I can't really think of an instance where you would probably need to set it this aggressively unless you're using a guitar with incredibly bright pickups. But anywhere up to about the halfway mark is pretty usable, I think. I think it sounds really nice when you get down to about nine or 10 o'clock and you just kind of take in some of that aggression away from the top end. <laughs> So now we're going to look at the gain control, which is actually labeled volume on this thing. So obviously, because it's like a preamp volume, if we turn this all the way down, we get a very weak signal because there's not actually much pushing through the amp. So I'm going to play a bit and just gradually increase this so you can hear the range of gain available. So again, quite aggressive in the gain. As you increase the gain stage, you actually get a little bit more brightness. So if you're playing with some of these lower gain settings like this, you can probably get away with the cut being a little less extreme to get more of that voxy sparkle. And then as you increase the gain, it brings in some top end. So that's where the cut becomes useful. So I quite like the gain about there. I think that's a really nice sound. And if I was looking for a kind of a Vox tone for like a song during a gig, this would definitely be something I would probably put on my board. Now, the other thing is the top boost. And what this can do is this can actually push the gain stage a little bit harder and get a bit more aggression out. It's like when people would use a Dallas Range Master treble booster to hit the front end of an amp. <laughs>
So there you go, there is the new X 63 Diamond. This is a really cool way to get some of that Vox vibe into your tone without breaking the bank. The fact that these are gonna be less than 50 pound in the UK kind of makes it a bit of a no-brainer if you're someone who needs a Vox tone for like one or two things, but you don't wanna spend a lot of money. This is almost perfect because, you know, it's so affordable that it's almost worth having one just because you can have one. And I think for me, if I ever need a Vox tone for one or two songs in a show, I would definitely not hesitate to take this out on the road with me. I think it's a really cool pedal. I think it sounds great. And like I said, the quality of the new X stuff has increased massively in the last few years. So I think it could probably stand up to a couple of gigs. You know, like I said earlier, I don't know how long it would last on a 200 show tour, but that's, you know, yet to be discovered. But if you want to get a bit of Vox vibe into your playing, check this thing out. This is a really cool pedal. And yeah, I've really enjoyed the sounds from this thing. I'm not a Vox aficionado. So, you know, I'm not someone who has spent years and years studying the ins and outs of Vox tone. And I know there's a lot of people out there who absolutely adore the sound of a cranked AC30. For me personally, I can't say I've ever spent a great deal of time with a real AC30. Not Definitely not enough to kind of, you know, obtain a huge understanding of what the amp can do in every kind of possible scenario. But I know roughly what a Vox amp should sound like. And to me, this definitely gets you in that ballpark. Obviously, you're going to get different results when you pair it with different amps as well. I'm using this with an American style amp, so it's going to be a bit brighter. But if you're running this into a clean British voice amp, kind of like a Marshall or something like that, you're going to get a bit more of that kind of mid-range warmth as well. But yeah, definitely a cool pedal to have in your arsenal. Bring a bit of that Voxy vibe to your guitar tone. Check it out. There's some links in the description. And let me know what you guys think of the tones of this thing. And if by the time this video comes out, you've tried one, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on the pedal as well. While you're letting me know what you think about this thing, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing as well, because that really helps me and it helps me to keep growing the channel. Thank you guys so much as always for watching. And I'll see you very soon.